Okay, we are going to use six trapezoids to approximate this integral, the integral from 1 to 4, square root of ln x dx. First, here is the graph for the uh, equation y is equal to square root of ln x, and there's nothing here, okay, there's no like a vertical asymptote. This is it. And we're talking about when x is being equal to 1 up to x is equal to 4. Well, we want to use six trapezoids. That means from the formula, n will be 6. But then we also have to figure out how wide each trapezoid is. And that's a delta x business. And we can use the formula e minus a over n. And then the b is the end point right here, which is 4, minus the a is the starting point, which is 1, divided by, we have 6 trapezoids, so we divide by n is equal to 6. And work this out, 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 divided by 6 is 0 .1, uh, 0 0.5, right here. So that means every time I have to go up by 0 0.5. We started at 1, so the next one will be 1.5, the next one is going to be 2, and the next one is going to be 2.5, and the next one is going to be 3, and the next one is going to be 3.5. Okay? And then what we do is with the trapezoid, you can just kind of draw the lines, the vertical lines like right here, and then I'll just draw the vertical lines. And then connect the dots, the endpoints. So it would be like the first one is technically a, tri uh, a triangle, and then we have like a lot of these guys, like that. Okay. Anyways, here's the formula for the trapezoidal approximation. T n is equal to delta x over two, and you have to remember the first and the last, the coefficient are just one. Everything else has a two in the front. Okay. And I just need to show you guys the labeling and then you can plug into the formula. So we have a bunch of these numbers. And then x naught is your starting value, which is 1. So this is x naught, which is 1. And then x1 will be 1.5. x2 will be 2. And then x3 will be 2.5. x4 will be 3. x5 will be 3.5. And x6 will be 4. So I pretty much just plugging all the corresponding x values into my formulas and that's pretty much all I need to do and also I also uh, plug in the delta x which is 0.5 and to figure out this guy it's like the f of 1, f of 1.5 uh, let me show you guys how we can do that on my calculator so what we need to do is let's graph the equation which I entered the equation already and here is a graph for that so we can just go to second calc and I'm going to choose value which is the first one we can just press enter as well and it's going to ask us for the x value for the first one I have to plug in when x is equal to 1 so I just enter 1 and it's going to give me the y value which is 0 so I know this right here is equal to 0 and I have to figure out what's uh, f of 1.5 and notice that I don't need to do the second calc again, I can just keep writing, you know, keep entering um, 1.5 and then I can get the y value which is the f of 1.5 which is this number right here and I'm going to put that one here for you guys and this is 0 0.63671 and then we can do the same for f of 2 so let me just do this one more time all I need to do is just enter the 2 on the calculator and I can get that for the y value. So I can just put this down right here and this is 0 0.83255 uh, okay. So the, the book wants us to use 6 decimals um, places, 6 decimal places so that's why I uh, just write this down. Anyways, you can do the same for the rest but then don't forget for anything in the middle, you actually have to multiply by 2 with it. Okay, this is a 2 multiply that, 2 will multiply with that. But then for the last one, and also the first one, there's nothing to multiply. And then the rest is just use the calculator, and then you are going to end up with T6 is equal to 2.591334. That's it.